Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for what I love. Still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I've won. They say I'm way too obsessed and I've got nothing left. And I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end No to drive in race cars or burning tire however it's perfect weather for playing in the mud and today we're here with Salim the owner of the famous off-road van Peanut Salim where's, where's the idea with that name boy what's the motivation behind that name well starters um, I always like the Land Cruiser color sandy top and um, it grew on me after when I was was um building the van, yeah, and um it was between this color, the Takuma Voodoo Blue, and an olive green, and to get the Voodoo Blue was kind of hard to get that, that that color down to a point. Yeah. So I said, nah, I'm going to do that. And the olive green, well, the olive green is kind of common. So I said, what? I never saw anybody with this on the top, so I'm going and do this on the top. And when I originally in the van yeah and I went up to the van I was like dog that thing looking like a ram sand peanut punch <laughs> right and I mean I always like peanut so I said you know what the model of the van is an N70 yeah so I just end up naming the van peanut 70 so it had a lot of thought process behind that name so respect and big up to the name peanut yeah so today Salim will be taking us off-road to experience this off-road life so now disclaimer I am no professional <laughs> off-roader whatsoever right um but i did get involved in this sport you should say i call that sport in 2019 okay. um after one of my uh, my friends she wanted she saw these vans and then she wanted to um get it get her hilux like this yeah and um i was like you know what we organized that that was actually the first van i ever did from bumper to bumper yeah and that was that is tdb 3300 big up annie um and that was like my first creation basically okay and then after with that now i push myself i say boy i like this thing too much and i need something for myself and i end up got got this van from work and um that was it it was just kdba from there and we were just up and going to where we is right now i mean we had lots and lots to do on the van still yeah but with everything takes finances and it, with the covid things wasn't so well so we just Take it in, taking it in strides right now. All right. So tell us a bit about the van now. What um, what suspension you're running? Because well, I noticed it really lifted. Um, I've been through quite a lot of suspension, especially in the front. Yeah. Well, not really back the front. Mm -hmm. I was mixing and matching to see what could work. Because in this era, nobody really go and tell you what to do and what not to do. Right. So and 
I basically had as being a newcomer in this um business. Yeah. I actually had to um, I actually had to figure out things on my own. Okay. So I went through buying some stuff. It cost me a lot, but in the long run, it paid off for me. So right now, I currently run the Bilstein 6112s, which mm -hmm. is a um, a very they should say a, a, a good mix between comfort and durability and rigidity in the trails. Yeah. Right. Um, with some 700 pound springs, which will absorb, which will hold the weight of the arm, which will hold the weight of the the, the van in front. Yeah. Um, the back has some Bills Bilstein 5125s. Um, long travel shocks with a uh, extended shackle and the upper control arm there's total chaos upper control arms which basically gives better travel on the front suspension so that you can be able to plan the wheels better yeah um, we have a VMN body lift which is designed and engineered by um, a company vehicle Mod modification networks out in Australia mm -hmm. um, he sent me across this body lift. We've installed it. We was actually the first vehicle to install. Yeah, so the guy sent it across from Australia for me. We, we were actually one of the first vehicles in Trinidad to have a VMN body lift. It's it's um properly well executed, and I have had no problems since. Um, as for the bumpers, I actually got a guy who um he never built bumpers and stuff before. And I challenged him and he did an amazing job on it. Um, that's Manush, ICDW Welding and Fabrication. That's up in, um, he's located in San Francisco. And he made it with a winch plate, everything. I have a Smithy Bell 10,000 pound winch. Um, okay. What else I have, boy? Um, got the snorkel, a T TJM snorkel from ABS Off-Road. This helps with us um, going into the water. But what water depth this can handle? Um, I would safely go like to my doors and stuff. Yeah. Just to be safe. I mean, you can go deeper, but it, with the electronics in your vehicle, you don't want water to enter into the vehicle. Now. Okay, okay. Yeah. And um, in terms of the work on the van, who does the work for you? You do it yourself or you have somebody do the work? Everything on this van was done by myself and my colleagues, other than the paint job and the bumpers. Okay, okay. And in terms of the engine, you had to do any modifications to the engine for the off-road or? To be honest, um, everybody is talking about um, you know, chipping the van, getting more power, getting more speed and I honestly been in, been involved with Toyota for the past 14, 13, 14 years yeah. and um, I've seen the, the executed this engine, the performance of this particular 1KD fast stock engine, it works really good, the power is on demand um i i don't i didn't think that i necessarily needed to do anything with the engine the only additional was i did a straight pipe exhaust yeah maintain the same two and a half inch and install a resonator just to get a little little baffle to you know keep the low end top yeah and that was basically it i have some diff breeders also yeah so that helps us uh, um, navigate through water courses without getting water into the diffs okay. and transmissions and stuff yeah so the wheels were actually um sourced from a company called Stell Custom Series. They actually make and design wheels tailored for Toyota specific and Jeep. Now we enter the trail here right now, it's a little overgrown. Right? So you just have to take the time and navigate. Yeah, so Stell Custom Series actually makes um, wheels and tires for uh, wheels and rims for the Toyota so that they'll fit snug on the um, on the hubs yeah um i actually went with the yokohama um geolanda mt mt double trees yeah um because i've re i read the reviews i check all the um articles on it and it tailored to my spe my specification what i wanted in um in the van Ugh. we're encountering a little thing of my jigs here <laughs> Yeah, and um, they were supplied and installed by Miles Mac, a good buddy of mine. Oh God, this thing is real overgrown here, boy. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Wow.
So how long are you doing this off-road thing by Jimmy, hey, boy? <laughs> Seven years now. Seven I years? I need about three years to get into it because I modified the van to suit. To do the, the, the job proper then. But tires, lift, winch, like that, man. Right, right. We are more capable now. Right. This man stop on top there, we stop for boy, pom pom. <laughs> These guys like that trying to stick. Hmm. Pressure here now. <laughs> so let's see this scene here. Let me see what's going on with this man. So good. A few moments later. Oh, oh shit, hey, where's he seen? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> the trail over had grown, so we had a back off. So we're doing some off road and then reverse right now, right? So basically, we had to make our own trail. And that is our scene right now because all day it's raining too now. And if we let's see, Bush, check out this one. I don't know. So, why are you still going to go into the actual... Well, well, I'm putting my ass in now. Because, I mean... Right, so let's see how that antics, right? Right. Nice small thing, nice small thing. So, we're going to check out and see if we can go to our next trail. And see where's the word. Right? So, well, let's stay tuned. Take it in. You see why you're relaxing. Everybody else reversing. Woo! Sideways. <laughs> oh! 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 What, what man? Make a little U-turn now, dog. Come, come now, come now, come in. Make a U-turn. Now you turn wrong. Monsters outside. Monsters outside. They don't want me down by! <laughs> so let's see what antics were going on here today. Right? <laughs> we're outside, we're in the rain. At the old team. So we're looking to the next location and see what's going on. Because overgrown. Moist. Overgrown. It's moist. It's moist. So let me see what we can do. Head to the next location and get out of here. Because we are gonna be coming back out of there if we try to go there, right? So let's stay tuned. Let me see where is this scene. Oh shit, I need two wheel drive. <laughs> My bad, I need two wheel drive. Sorry.
All right, well, look like we stick here a little bit there. We in Sapate mud. So we call the um, Smithy Built Wireless X2. We click on the button. Yeah, I'll look, I'm sure then. No. So let's see what's going on here. I don't know who tell who choose today to go on the trail. So fellas, what is up here, boy? What, 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 what play off there just now? Go on in and f on park. <laughs> <laughs> and stick to? And yeah, stick twice. And stick twice. twice. Pressure, pressure. So, Mother Nature, one or Fraud zero? <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. Right? So we try and. But today, we gotta come back at the tagging. Right? Mash, mash!
Smoky. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day. Um, what 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 happened? <laughs> what happened? Um, did Mother Nature um, decide well today wasn't your day? Nah. <laughs> no comment. No comment for the camera this time. Okay, no problem. No problem. The aftermath. And when it finally stopped raining, too, eh? <laughs> right. So the rain do what they had to do, and we try to do what we had to do. I have no idea. Good afternoon. Good day, good day. Ash, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You're, you're nice and dry? Where the mud? You got no mud on your foot? None? None? Yeah. Right, right. So you yeah, jump out the van at all, Ash. Where's that come one? Out, come out, come out. Oh, yeah, come out, you come out. I can't see, I can't see. Right well, oh, what are you going to do? Let us! <laughs> yeah man, easy. Alright, so guys that was a different level experience. Um I mean, we took up the, the road is always fun but Hey, drifting is not only for road, eh? We can have drift, drifting happening on the mud too. Salim can vouch for that. Um, unfortunately, some of the guys, the, the van them wasn't um, catered to, um, to go in the full trail. So we had to end up turning around. But um, I'm sure the guys get a, a good experience about what it is at least we started to go through inside it. Um, I'd like to thank all very much again for choosing me and uh, the team to represent the off-roading community to get our feature and peanut. I mean, it's, it's always a pleasure. Um, hope to see you in the morning or two again sometime soon. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, he owed me like half a ride, right? Because we were stuck for like three quarters of the trail. But yeah, it was real good. Salim, once again from the Optian Addicts team, Optian Addicts TT, we would like to thank you and your team, especially spotters. Without those guys, we would still be somewhere in the bush yeah. waiting. So thanks again for everything. Um, and remember guys, like, share and subscribe up the Addicts TT.